enhance your intelligence, supercharge your memory, unlock heightened levels of creativity and stay sharp at any age. Well, yes, please, sir. Uh, this morning I'm joined by the Prince of Positivity, Mr. Paul McKenna, with a new year and a morning, Paul, and a new you in mind. His latest book is called I Can Make You Smarter. My husband is so happy. I was reading this book in bed the other night. Welcome to the show, Paul McKenna. Hello. Now, we'd all love to be smart, Paul. Just yeah. how smart are we at the moment, without getting too personal? Well, if smart is such a broad term, this isn't just about being more academic. Uh, but this is about, as you say, improving concentration, improving memory, uh, becoming more creative, making better decisions, you know, being able to read faster, uh, those sorts of things. But some people are really intelligent in one area and not in another. This is um, one of the problems that a lot of people have with IQ, because the man who invented IQ, Binet, said, do not use this. That's different to just, you know, just being academic. Just so a lot, lot of, you know, academic ac academia puts an emphasis on memorising other people's ideas and theories, many of which are good, of course, and being able to parrot them out. Now, Leonardo da Vinci would have a problem with that. His whole thing was about being original and, you know, and, and creative um, uh, in your own thinking, um, you know, rather than just being able to parrot other people. So, I, I found plenty of other stuff that other people have said that I want to repeat. So, potential than we realise. I ask people this question, either in groups or individually. Who here is it 100% of their... I've got a letter today from the folks back home. They're all fine. Crops is dry. Down near them in Mom said, son, you know old rivers die. They're sitting here now and new plowed earth, trying to find me a, a little shame. Frank Sinatra recorded outside of the US. He did love to troll the great American songbook, and here he was trolling the great British songbook. <laughs> those sessions would remember them forever. He was shaking hands and gazing at me with those penetrating, almost frightening blue eyes. We'll gather It was an album made entirely of British songs, and Isaac Gale sang it Berkeley Square. myself as but you kind of know what I mean. a celebrity but I was worried that because the episode that you've seen she is clumsy she's quite sort of funny eccentric character and I was a bit worried that people would go oh she's just doing her thing but in the 1950s and her nurse's uniform <laughs> um, and I do even fall over or knock something over in this episode yes. um, so I was a bit concerned about that but ultimately I felt like I was doing something very different and as the series goes on she does feel completely different like I'm doing a doing the proper acting and okay. hopefully people will go with it I can't get I can't go on so if that. you went with it on a series the episode 2 which is her being funny and 